better go soon. Left his home in Casas Grande when the moon was full. Had no money in his pocket, just a locket of his sister framed in gold. He headed for El Suego, stole a rooster named Guild El Cielo. And he crossed the Rio Grande with that rooster nestled deep within his arms. Now, Guild del Cielo was a warrior born in heaven, so the legends say. His wings, they had been broken. He had one eye rolling crazy in his head. He'd fought a hundred fights, but the legends say that one night in Earl Swiggle, they fought Cielo seven times. Seven times he left Brave Brewster's dead. Roll on me, Teresa. I'm thinking of you now in San Antonio. I have twenty-seven dollars and the good luck of your picture framed in gold. And I put it all on the fighting spurs of Gild El Cielo. I returned to buy the land that Pancho Villa stole from Father Long ago. Outside of San Diego, in the onion fields of Pocomonte, Verde. The pride of San Diego lay resting on a fancy bed of snow. They laughed when Saragossa pulled his one-eyed Del Cielo from beneath his coat. They cried when Saragossa walked away with a thousand-dollar bill. Hola, me, Teresa, I'm thinking of you now in Santa Barbara. I have fifteen hundred dollars and the good luck of your picture framed in gold. Tonight I put it all on the fighting spurs of Galileo's Hello. I returned to buy the land that Pancho Villa stole from Father long ago. Now the moon in the hiding and the lanterns cast the shadows on the fighting sand. Wicked black named Zorro stood to face El Cielo tonight. And Carlos Saragossa feared that tiny crack that ran down his rooster's beak. And he figured he'd lost the fifty thousand dollars he had riding on the fight. Call on me, Teresa. I'm thinking of you now in Santa Clara. All the money's on the table. I'm held into your lucky frame and go. Everything we dreamed of is riding on the spurs of Del Cielo. I'll return to buy the land that Pancho Villa stole from Father long ago. Now the signal had been given, and the roosters rose and fought far above the sand. Gail del Cielo, sunk a gap in the Zorro shiny breast. They were separated quickly, rose and fought each other time and time again. And the legends all agree that Gail del Cielo fought the best. But the screams of Cedargos fill the air outside the town of Santa Clara. As the beak of Del Cielo lay crumbled like a shell with his hand, they say that Cedargos screamed a curse upon the bones of Pancho Villa. As Zorro rose up one more time and drove Del Cielo into the sand. Well, I meet Teresa. I'm thinking of you now in San Francisco. I had no money in my pocket. I no longer had your lucky frame to go. I 
buried it last evening with the bones of my beloved little sea hello. I will not return to fatherland if the stole from father long ago. Do the rivers still run muddy outside of my beloved Casas Grande? Does the scar upon my brother's face turn red at the mention of my name? Do the people of Oswego still curse the death of Gal of Cielo? Tell my family not to worry, I will not return to cause them shame. Tell my family not to worry, I will not return to cause them shame.